In this presentation, we will try to understand what are strings in Python and we will understand some topics related to it as well. So, without any further delay, let's get started. The first topic is string data type and the second topic is multi line string. We will start with string data type first. So, what is a string data type or what is a string in Python? A string is simply a sequence of characters in Python. So, a string is simply a sequence of characters. Other than this, a string can be enclosed in a single or double quotes. It is allowed in Python to use single or double quotes to enclose a string, to wrap a string. For example, Right now, I am in my Python interactive shell and I am ready to type in some commands. I will not explain the entire process of how to activate the Python interactive shell as we have already learned that in the previous lectures. Now, I want to type this command name equal to Jaspreet. This string is enclosed within double quotes. I am calling this a string because we have a sequence of characters. If I hit enter, I will not get any error message. Because this is perfectly fine in Python, we can enclose a string within double quotes. I have assigned name to this string, which means I have assigned a label to this object string. Now, if I type name equal to Jaspreet, and this time I am enclosing the string within single quotes, if I hit enter, again I will not get any error message. Because a string can be enclosed within single quotes as well, it is perfectly fine. So, this is what we need to understand about strings. Now, apart from these two points, we have one more important point. If single quotes are used inside the string, then the string should be enclosed within double quotes or vice versa. If we are planning to use single quotes inside the string, let's say we want to add an apostrophe, we might want to enclose a substring within single quotes. In that case, we should wrap the entire string within double quotes. Or if it is the case that we are planning to use double quotes inside the string, then in that case, the entire string should be enclosed within single quotes. That's why I've written vice versa here. In order to understand this statement better, let's consider one example. Again, I am in my interactive shell. Now let's type statement equal to the language python is named after monty python i have typed this entire command this is the entire string this string is enclosed within double quotes as it can be easily observed other than this we have this string enclosed within single quotes this is a substring of the string as this substring is enclosed within single quotes this entire string must be enclosed within double quotes. This is an important requirement. If we are planning to use double quotes instead of single quotes inside the string, we should enclose the entire string within single quotes in that case. If I hit enter, I will not get any error message because this statement is allowed in Python. If I type, let's say, statement 2 equal to Hello, I am Jaspreet, how's your mother? This time the requirement is different. This time I have planned to include both double and single quotes within a string. Now this is a problematic situation. This statement is completely invalid in this case as this statement would work if we are planning to use only single quotes or only double quotes within a string. But now this statement is completely invalid. If I hit enter, I'll get syntax error invalid syntax message from Python. Let's try to understand why we are getting a syntax error here. Here, I have started the string with double quotes. Now, Python will always look for a closing double quote and that to the first occurrence of the closing double quote. As I've started the string with the double quote, Python always looks for the first occurrence of the double quote. After reading these characters, Python founds out the double quote and Python thought that this is the entire string we are talking about. After this, Python is not expecting any character, but I have added a sequence of characters. That is why I am getting this syntax error. 
because I have added a sequence of characters after this closing double quote, that is why Python has produced syntax error. Now the question is how to eliminate this error. We might plan to use both single and double quotes within a string. Obviously, this is not the workaround. This statement is completely invalid in this case. Alternatively, single or double quotes within a string can be escaped using backslash character. Whenever we plan to include both single and double quotes within a string, we should escape them using backslash character. Now, what do I mean by escaping them? Escaping a quote means that we are telling Python to not consider the quote as a closing single or double quote. Let's try to understand this with the help of an example. Again, I'm in my interactive shell and instead of having the previous statement, I'm escaping now these quotes with these backslash characters. Escaping these quotes means that Python will not consider these quotes as closing quotes. They are part of the string. So Python will treat these quotes as part of the string and print them as it is without backslash. As Python escapes these characters, it founds that this is the closing quote. Hence, we have this entire string. If I hit enter now, I will not get any error message. And if I print statement 2, which is the reference to the string, that's what we can say. If I print statement 2, I will get this entire string. Hello, I am Jaspreet within double quotes. Then, how's your mother? So, these quotes are preserved. That's what we can say. Now, I hope the idea is completely clear. If we want to escape quotes within the string, we can use backslash character. But there is one takeaway. We can also escape these quotes using backslash character. But as I am planning to use single quotes only within this string, I have not followed this approach. Instead, I chose this approach because this is more readable. So, whenever possible, I encourage you to use this approach over this approach. The only reason is readability. This line is less readable if we compare it with this line. If you are planning to use only single or only double quotes within a string, then try to use this approach. If you are planning to use both single and double quotes within the string, then use this approach. Now we are done with string data type. Let's move on to multi line string. So, what is a multi line string? A multi line string is a string which is enclosed within triple single or triple double quotes. So, a multi-line string is a string which is always enclosed within triple single or triple double quotes. As the name itself suggests, a string is called a multi-line string if we have multiple lines in that string. For example, I am again in my interactive shell and I am typing this command statement equal to triple quotes hello world exclamation mark. Now, this statement is started with triple double quotes, which means I am planning to include more lines after this. If I hit enter, I will get three dots in place of three arrows. Now, why is that the case? We need to understand this, that this command is not ended yet. I have not added triple double quotes here. Hence, Python add three dots to indicate that we are in continuation to the previous command. So, we are actually continuing this command in the next line. I want to do the same thing. I want to continue from here. I don't want to add the rest of the string after this string. I want to add new string in the new line. Let's say I want to add this string. This is just Preet. So, this string is part of this string. But now, this is a new line. Triple double or single quotes allows us to add multi-line strings. If I hit enter, again I will get these three dots indicating that we are in continuation to the previous command. This time I want to write how are you and now I have also added these three double quotes. This indicates that now the statement is complete. This command is complete. 
if i hit enter this time python knows that i'm done with the previous command as i have indicated that with three double quotes now if i print the entire statement which i have written here if i hit enter i'll get the entire string and the format is also preserved this is a multi line string here i have written statement equal to triple double quotes hello world exclamation mark python always looks for the closing triple quotes in this case i have not provided it because i want to add a new line after this i have added the new line i am continuing the previous statement and it is indicated with these three dots if i hit enter again again i'll get three dots because i have not ended the statement yet now if i type how are you and if i end the statement with triple double quotes then i'm indicating python that i'm done with this entire command now if i hit enter i'll get these three arrows which indicates that i am done with this command now if i print the entire statement using the statement label which is the label given to this entire string then i'll get this entire message printed on the screen hello world this is just preet how are you this string is a multi line string the format is completely preserved as you can see it is not the case that this line is printed in the same line as hello world so this is all we need to understand about multi line strings so we are done with string data type and multi line string in this presentation i hope the complete idea is clear to you okay friends this is it for now thank you for watching this presentation i'll see you in the next one